usually when you rationalize the denominator, you only see square roots in the denominator. But here's actually an example using cube roots. So say I give you th 7 over the cube root of 4. Now, I want you to know that 4 is equal to 2 squared. So if there was an extra 2 in the bottom, then we would get 2 cubed. And so the cube root would actually cancel it out. So if you multiply the cube root of 2 squared times the cube root of 2, using property 1, this becomes the cube root of 2 squared times 2, which we all know to be the cube root of 2 cubed. And because we've got a cube root and a cube, this simplifies simply to 2, which is a rational number, and thus would help us rationalize the expression. So let's multiply the top and bottom by cube root of 2. So now in the top, we end up getting 7 times the cube root of 2, and on the bottom we get cube root of 4 times 2. Now in the top, since uh, 7 and cube root of 2 aren't really like terms, there's no way we can combine them. So we leave them as is. And then in the bottom, this becomes cube root of 8, which we know to be cube root of 2 cubed. And this simplifies simply to just 2. So this is how we tackle uh, rationalizing the denominator when the denominator is a cube root and not a square root.